Welcome back to the Home of Horsepower, ASOF Practice Management Systems. Today we're going to look at uh, customizing your invoice form uh, in our form designer module. Uh, but before we get started, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I recommend that you change the settings to high definition. Uh, just go to the settings uh, button on the uh, uh, YouTube screen there and you're going to want to uh, select 1080 or HD, whatever, however it is uh, revealed to you there. That'll give you a nice sharp uh, look at the screen. Um, so without further ado, we're going to uh, get started here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the accounting tab and we're going to open up uh, just any invoice here and uh, we're going to do a print preview by clicking on this print preview button and uh, that's uh, that's the invoice form as it as it is now and you can see it's got uh, got the logo on it and um, a little blurb at the bottom payment due is due at time of service etc well there's a number of things that you can do to uh, to to modify this and so we're going to take a look at that here uh, I'm going to close the print preview and I'm going to next go to the print layout that's this uh, button here and I'm going to click on that to see what invoice form we actually have selected for the invoice this uh, print layout uh, dialog gives you the ability to make all sorts of changes you can select different uh, uh, invoice templates um, there's a, a variety of them already in there um, but we're gonna we are going to focus on modifying uh, this one right here, invoice.dgm, uh, that's the, the form that is currently selected. So I'm going to just close out of this, and I'm going to now go to our report designer, uh, that's this, uh, this button here, click on that, and then from there I've got three tabs, I've got a list report, form designer, and data designer, and I'm going to select the form designer. Then we're going to go up to the file uh, option here and I'm going to select open. Now this should take us right to our uh, file store which is uh, uh, where all these templates are, are stored by default. Um, and we're going to find that invoice form and before we go to modify it I'm going to select it and I'm going to make a copy of it. I'm just right click copy and then I'm going to paste into that uh, same uh, directory. So that's like my uh, my backup copy in case I want to. Uh, I don't like the changes I make and I want to start over again. Then I'm going to open invoice.dgm. So here we are in the invoice form, and uh, it consists of various types of uh, articles uh, or objects, if you will. Uh, this invoice, for example, where it says invoice, this is what's referred to as a label. And if you double click, you'll see label properties and the word invoice. So this is going to print on every uh, invoice that you, uh, that you print using this template. Um, the number here next to it actually is a, what's known as a field. And the field uh, is populated by data from the database. So that's where your invoice number for each uh, invoice is going to be uh, populated. You'll see similarly uh, the provider uh, is a field, uh, the status is a field, uh, order date as well is a field. Now these uh, headers for this grid are labels. And the reason we've done those as labels is so that we can make them a different font than the grid content, uh, which is shown here, double clicking on the grid. And this is where you change the column widths um, and you can change the, uh, uh, the fonts, of course, uh, within the, you know, of the data that gets uh, printed in the grid. Uh, now to make uh, new objects, uh, you've got a variety of tools up here in your toolbar. This ABC, if you click there, and drag this out you'll see that you can make a label and double clicking on it takes you uh, into where you can edit it you can change the font of course uh, the color um, 
and I'll show you what we'll do with that in a minute. Similarly, uh, you can click on this button here, which will create a field. Again, drag it out and uh, double click to edit it. Now, the uh, available uh, items that you can use uh, connecting to the database uh, various fields can be found in our help if you go to help topics and modules go to um, accounting and invoices expand customer activities and look at invoices and if you scroll down actually I'm going to stretch this out so you can see the whole page and if you scroll down here you'll see printable merge fields uh, these are various fields that you can put into your invoice form to have things printed from the uh, uh, from the database now when you use fields you have to be very explicit that the name of the field matches uh, those printable merge fields otherwise you're not going to get any uh, results now some other tools that uh, we have here um, in this form designer you can select a box and set it around your label we also have uh, various ellipses um, as well as lines that you can use to to do different things uh, you can add pictures um, actually the label or the logo here covering the company name information is just that it's a picture but we haven't specified a, a specific path to the picture because instead we call it logo and that's going to use the uh, logo path that you uh, have set up in the uh, in your company uh, resources information um, the grid is what you see here uh, that, that is grabbing the, uh, the data uh, from the invoice form and putting it into a, a printable format. And I'll double click on the, on the grid to show you here. These are the different uh, printable merge fields essentially that have been added to this grid uh, to uh, create the printed invoice that you see. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and I'm going to change this uh, label at the bottom and we're correct that. And we'll just go ahead and set this uh, in the right color and we'll make it bold and larger type and I'm going to click OK and then that sets this down here and I'm going to Move it over here, and I'm going to drag this uh, order and bring it back in. And now I'm going to save this. And so if I go back to accounting and I open an invoice, my print preview should reflect the changes that I made. Now, you, as you recall, we put a field here, but we didn't call it anything that matches anything, so it uh, it does not appear. Uh, but you can see. Here are these, uh, these other items that we have uh, added. Um, and you can see here where the invoice number is, is populated and the status and the date, etc. cetera. Uh, so that concludes our uh, quick tutorial on uh, the form designer. Um, come on back and we'll uh, go into the form designer in more detail uh, and show you some of the other great things that you can do with it. Uh, thanks for joining us today.